All right, let's get started. It is 6.45 a.m. Getting ready to start this work day. So it is very um, fitting for us to talk about the topic of the working mom curse. Hey, Willie Mae, I knew that was you when I saw the Kenya. So um, this morning is very fitting to talk about the working mom curse. We're um, on our way to work or we are just starting our work day today and I want to talk about if it's real or not. Is it real? Is the working mother curse real or not? But before we get started, I want to talk about, um, do a moment of silence for a recent loss um, I had. It's been with me for the last two weeks, and um, I just recently lost it this morning, and it is this braid. I just want to do a quick moment of silence for this braid. Okay, so now that it's gone, I'm going to bury it, uh, put it in the trash, and bury it, and I'm going to be good for the rest of the day. So, um... If you don't know me, I am Dominique Townsend. I am better known as the Meltdown Mama, and my goal is to inspire and empower moms to be confident in the decisions they make for themselves and their family. Um, My goal is to um, help us be comfortable. Um, I'm still in work in progress in that as a mother, and I want to make sure that um, I help other people as well join me and join the challenge. So if you... um, if you like any tidbits that you hear today, make sure that you press tap the screen so you can put some hearts out there to show your love. And we'll get started with today's motivational topic. So um, this is day four of our hashtag positive mom challenge. And the goal of this positive mom challenge is to help us to improve um, our, our wealth, um, grow success in wealth and health confidence and um, overall success as moms. But for us to do that, I really feel that um, we need to set a strong foundation. And to set that strong foundation, we have to get our mindsets right to prepare for the success in all of these areas as moms. Um, Typically, we wait. um, We're last um, or we put ourselves last and we take care of everything else. But when it gets to us, we're so worn out that we do not have the time to even take care of ourselves. I think that we need to flip that and really take care of ourselves first so that we are fully able to take care of everyone else. You feel me? And so let's get started. Um, Do you guys think that, do you think they were cursed to work a full-time job? And and that, that's a good uh, a good question for you guys. I really think that, Yeah, every mother is a working mother, but um, there are some times where it seems like the stress associated with working a full-time job, leaving your child sick at home, or rushing them to school just to get to work on time is too much to bear sometimes. And but the question really is: Are we really are we punishing ourselves for having to work? Are we really punished for having to work as moms? And um, if we choose to work as a mom, uh, be a full-time working mother, or is it a guilt that we put upon ourselves due to the pressures of media? Um, We have to really evaluate the source of the guilt. And if it is not within our best interest, we need to make a plan to address it or to leave it. Um, We assume that other people at our jobs look at us differently um, just for taking that unexpected day off to take care of our kids. So when we come back to work, we feel like all the eyes are on us. and, And it's time for us to get rid of that mental curse and even if that is the fact we still need to look at things like the work policy at our job um are we at a company that acknowledges effective work work work-life balance and also are we exercising and scheduling time for us to relax typically when we um integrate exercise and and good eating into our routine it typically brings back it it decreases stress in other areas of of our um, life so we need to make sure we take care of ourselves but sometimes the guilt that we feel is, is something that we put up on ourselves and if it's something that um won't change. Like say if you're at a place that they do not um, acknowledge or or respect the fact that you um, have to take care of your family or or acknowledge that that you need to take care of someone in an unexpected sickness, um, you have to either address it or leave it. 
um, your your mental sanity is worth more. Your family is worth more than being at a job that makes you feel stressed out. Um, I honestly feel blessed where I'm at, but there are a lot of people out there in the world that um, a lot of moms out there that um, are in environments that are very unhealthy for them to be in. So make sure that you talk with your boss, express that, look at your work um, policy, speak with HR so you can identify strategies to help you eliminate that working mom um, curse and regain your sanity. So today I want you to create um, a list of items that stress you out when you think about work. Um, identify the true source of the stress and make a plan to address it or leave it. Um, your life and your family um, have too much value to live an unhappy, stressed life. So make sure that you go out today with the mindset knowing that there is no curse. It, there's a choice for us to either keep that mental burden or release that mental burden. And doing this positive mom challenge, I think that it's our time to release it. So um, this morning, go in knowing that you what the things that you can't control, you take control of. The things that you can't, you give it to God or, or some other being that you um, may um, may worship, but you you give it away. It's to, it's bigger than you sometimes when you can't control it. Um, if you can't control it, it's bigger than you, and it can get fixed if you focus on the things that you can control. So before I leave today and um, you go off for your work day this morning, I want to leave you with this. Behind the smile of a mother um, lies a story, a story of pain, a story of joy, a story of um, happiness, and a story of sadness. But it's up to us as mothers to help support each other and be there for each other um, in our times and needs. So make sure that you go out there with a positive outlook. Hey, Megan, go out there with a positive outlook. Um, you can look at this, um, just play this video again if you like to see what the discussion that was talked about this morning. And you guys have a great rest of the day. Hit me up at um, Meltdown Mama, M E L T M O M M A. Oh, I forgot to spell down. M E L T D O W N M O M M A to connect with me on Instagram and on Twitter. Also, um, my website is, is www.meltdownmama.com. And remember that the only curse that exists in our world is the curse that we choose to keep, um, is cho the one, the choice that we choose to keep and then have that mental burden. So you go out and release it and do what you can, address it or leave it because your worth is much more than worry. Have a good day.